Road conditions vary by location, traffic, time of day and weather and every journey presents unique conditions and challenges for drivers. Road conditions affect driver safety and vehicle performance. Poor road surfaces and road markings have been identified as a critical factor in road incidents. In urban areas, road closures and detours are often unexpected. Driving a heavy vehicle while following a predetermined schedule in such situations can be difficult for drivers. Delays, sudden changes and notifications have been found to directly affect driver behaviour and increase crash probability. Besides affecting schedules, congested streets impact most activities that heavy vehicle drivers are required to perform. And pavement condition has been proven to impact on the number of crashes. One Canadian study determined that after road surface maintenance had been carried out, the number of all types of crashes decreased by up to 11% on certain types of roads. In Australia, states and local councils can also use unique traffic signs to represent road conditions in their area. This may cause confusion to drivers when going through an unfamiliar location. With the complexity around work zones, crash risk increases significantly. A recent US study showed that engaging in a secondary activity and in attention whilst driving in work zones was found to increase the crash and near crash ratio 29 times. Although in Australia, these events still require further research. Due to varied road conditions, wildlife, vast distances, and the extremes of weather throughout the country, driving through regional and remote Australia is a high risk activity. Access to particular areas, clear visibility, and stable roads can become challenging under extreme conditions. And road design is often guided by the requirements of light vehicles, which may also pose challenges for larger and heavier vehicles on the road. What are the main challenges that you face driving around, for instance, in the city versus a regional drive? Some of the biggest challenges I find, especially when driving a, a 24 pan trailer, is the uh, a lot of places can be very unforgiving. So if you take a wrong turn, you know, if you go down a wrong road or you go into a wrong, you know, if you're delivering to a shopping centre and you go in a wrong way, it's, you can't just spin around and go out, you know what I mean? A lot of these times, if you make that mistake, you either have to reverse back out the way you came or you know, call up to get some help because there's situations where you can't actually manoeuvre around. So you've got to be very aware of where you can and can't go. So what, what advice would you give other heavy vehicle drivers, for instance, on being safe on the roads themselves? Um, my advice would probably be if you are unsure about sort of like where you're going or like, you know, where you can go or where there's like low, low rated bridges, to always just ask, always ask anyone like, you know, because I found when I first started here, you know, you would get some stores and then you'd get comfortable to them. But then as you would get new stores, you would start to find out new challenges with yeah. routes, which could actually become very difficult. Because, you know, if you, it's like I said, if you turn down a wrong road, you know, you can't always you turn. Taking shortcuts and risks in a vehicle of that size is just asking for trouble. It's like we've got set route maps that we take to each individual store that I deliver to. Obviously, when you're going from the warehouse to the first store, you can use the, the map that's been to like tried and tested, but then sometimes we have more than one delivery in the trailer. So then you sort of got to like pick your way from there to the next one and so on. But um, yeah, it's not, not worth it. Basically take your time, get there safely. If it takes five minutes or you miss your delivery window by five minutes, due to the traffic or road conditions or weather or whatever. That's just the way it is. What are the main challenges that you face driving every day? Uh, recently traffic, it's getting out of hand, um, especially with the road works and everyone getting a little bit of stress and I'd say a bit of 
angry because of all the roadworks and just try to cut off and get in front of us and probably their time sometimes they need to it's just hard that's that's what most challenging at the moment for us on the road and yeah everything else is not that bad except from the traffic in terms of road conditions generally how often do you have to change your route on the way to a destination at all we can't change the route majority of the time because of the height and the width and length restrictions that we've got. Um, if there are roadworks and they want to divert us, then yeah, there's, it only happens on an odd occasion. But you try and stay away from residential sort of streets and things because of trees, power lines, low line power lines. So not too often, to be honest. When that happens though, what does it add to the pressures and the, the stresses and the anxiety of the job at all? I think the stress goes right up, obviously, because you don't know how you're going to find that corner. You're trying to turn a vehicle, you know, a 19 metre long vehicle through a very tight corner. This is where accidents happen. So I think when they're doing roadworks and stuff like that, they've really got to think about, you're going to have a truck come through here. How are they going to get around? So, yeah, it is. As soon as you see roadworks, yeah, the stress levels do 100% go up because it's not just us trying to get through there. It's the road workers there. We're trying to keep our distance, keep our speed down. You've got people that are behind us getting aggravated because sometimes you have to go below the 40 k's because it's that tight. You're literally clipping the cones and the curbing as you're trying to get through. So yeah, oh, it definitely puts the stress up, but you've just got to try and stay calm. And if you can't get through, we just pull up, we've got to stop and just tell them we can't get through this. You need to find us an alternative route. And that's where the stress goes right up. So yeah, there's not much you can do about it. How often do you have to change your routes when you're driving to a destination because something's happened out there? Oh, it's pretty good. The Wholesome's got, uh, they supplied us with the TomTom, -tom, which also means for TAG, but the best thing about it is actually their live traffic updates on the um, on our GPS part of it, and that's it's always spot on. So, yeah, you can pick your roads to change your route to, to because um, we're obviously paid uh, by the load, so if you get held up where you shouldn't be, it, you're losing money I suppose but um yeah it's um to change routes look sometimes it's just easier to sit in it than trying to bounce over roundabouts around back streets and that kind of thing sometimes you're better off just chilling out and sitting in it and then um nine times out of ten that is the quickest way uh, other than um yeah trying to trying to beat the system where sometimes it just doesn't work <laughs> yeah yeah so sometimes just kick back sit back and yeah um put triple m on them or your choice of radio station <laughs> there's been a lot of road closures like on the phrase if there's an accident you have to go a different way otherwise you'll get stuck on there because it seems to be these days i suppose with the health and safety of the people on the emergency crews and all that they'll just shut down the freeway and it just causes bedlam. I got caught in one on the ring road about probably a month ago or maybe six weeks ago. And it just happened in front of me. And like we'll get into it. And then the emergency vehicles come and just shut down the freeway. I was stuck there for three hours. I got a mentality, I got to get that truck home the way I left in the morning. That's my mentality. If I have a good day, I have a good day. If I have a bad day, well, that's just the way it is. That incident happened because someone in a car decided to brake check a truck, pulled in front of him, hit the brakes and the truck had to swerve and then collected another one and so someone went home in an ambulance or not went home went to hospital in an ambulance for something that you know he didn't really have anything to do with so when i sit there and look at that you think well you know what at least i'm going home in one piece because that's what everyone wants to do at the end of the day don't they you have to drive for everyone else you just have to drive for everyone else you, you that, that if you start driving thinking about the time i got to get there i got to get there i got to get there or or what you anticipate to get, like, oh, I've got to do this load so I can get the next load or whatever, you're gone. You just got to do what you got on, what load you've got on, just get that load there safe, and then just move on to the next one. Because if you think too far ahead, you'll go home stressed, anxiety, you'll have just, yeah. And, and the roads, as you know, <laughs> with traffic, you can get very um, caught up in it all. Nowhere closures are probable on your route due to roadworks, extreme weather or special events and identify alternative routes beforehand and allow for extra planning when driving through regional areas.
It means comprehensive journey and fatigue management strategies and knowing how to adapt and drive according to conditions. And consider those conditions when defining your route. Consider the road's surface condition and whether it's sealed or unsealed. And remember that safety is always the number one priority. Report issues if you notice the condition of the road is deteriorating or that there are issues with its design. Be familiar not only with national traffic signs, but also additional ones in local areas that you're driving through. And slow down when conditions are difficult. Slowing down will help you focus on the road and could get you additional reaction time if it's needed. Make regular route checks. The shortest route from A to B may not be the safest one. Check the condition of the roads your staff may be using regularly and consider alternative routes if a better option is available. Keep staff updated. Road closures and detours caused by construction projects or local special events should be considered when planning routes. Have plans for remote areas, including multiple communication channels, additional food and water, and people to contact along different points of your driver's journey. Have a plan B and have a plan C. Listen to drivers if they identify deteriorating road conditions or poor road design. Notify the road asset owner and make adjustments to route planning if needed. 